Wait, does M3 get flanked? It did. Bro. M3. Uh, I got, I got, I'll go clean up your forgetfulness. Hello, my friend. Man. I'll give him the good old... Hang on, we got to pit maneuver him right quick. Stop. You're now mine. We're rude, aren't we? So in today's worth in a video, we're going to be looking at the Concept 3, which is another view request vehicle that you guys have wanted me to play. And it's one of my favorite South African vehicles, funny enough, just because this thing looks very nice. It looks like one of those like tanks that you would find within like a GI Joe collection thing. And for some reason, I just really like that. And honestly, the skin on it looks very nice as well. But the Concept 3 is met with a bunch of surprises with this little vehicle because you have a very interesting gun which is the 77 millimeter if you don't know the history around this whole entire gun it is basically a shorter 17 pounder and instead of it having the same pen it has a little bit less so 161 and if you go to a vehicle for example the achilles right here and you look at the shot mark 8 it's 190 so it does lose a little bit of penetration but this gun is able to be mounted on different vehicles like the concept 3 and also vehicles like uh, where's it at the wonderful comet if you've ever played this vehicle it is a wonderful little gem to play but it's uh it's reverse speed is uh kind of kind of poor but i digress with that the concept 3 is a lot different to that whenever it comes to its reverse speed it actually has 51 forward and also 51 backwards so that means if you're stuck somewhere you can just hit the s key and go the same forward as you can backwards which is always a really good thing the only downside to the concept 3 and it's one of those things that in real life it made a bunch of sense which is angling this plate right here it's only a 12.7 millimeter plate but once you angle it look at what you get you get about like 36 millimeters of protection you would think that would be good against like small arms or something like that but if you take like the jack panzer 4 and you shoot it right here the problem with this slope is is it actually fuses APHE unlike many vehicles which like have no armor best armor like if you shoot it like right in here for example the round should just cleanly go through the vehicle itself and not fuse so whenever you're facing these vehicles they they basically have no armor on the front but they have just enough to where it'll actually fuse APHE which can be a huge problem for a vehicle like this but yeah let's see how we do in the concept 3 and let's get on to the gameplay well not exactly the best concept 3 map in the world we'll try to make it work though I kind of have a feeling I have an idea for this map but at the same time, it's definitely close quarter to the map. The way that I like to play the Concept 3, at least, was back when the Wyvern was also 4-3. This used to be the vehicle that I used to get the Wyvern with. You just ran this thing, like, into the middle, get, like, two or three kills, and just pop straight into a Wyvern so you get shot. But now, it's still at 4-3. You still have some really good, like, vehicles for it. You have, like, the Churchill, the Typhoon. Still plenty of good vehicles, but at the same time, Definitely don't have that wyvern anymore, which is kind of sad, but it was it was very much needed to go up in battle rating. All right, so before we start just like going straight into the battle right now, what I want to do is I want to see what the enemy is doing. Because if they're all pushing alpha like our team basically is right now, then it's going to be easier to push in like this area of the map. But at the same time, if they're pushing like C or something, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Yeah, we'll just hold like Bravo right now, kind of just wait and see what happens and then we'll move up a little bit i think like majority of the time i mean i don't really know why i'm asking this question but majority of the time people just go up towards alpha that's probably what this team is doing as well if we can get anybody on the outskirts out here then maybe we can actually assist this like cromwell right quick make sure there's no one coming this direction though what is this team doing all right i had to like make sure here their, their team is still alive right I, I'm, I'm kind of confused about what's just happening. Like, it seems like they're pushing, like, our team at Alpha now. But at the same time, it kind of just seemed like there was, like, no one here. No one was home. Oh, here comes the the Panzer Brigade. There, I'm probably get this dude. Let me get a better shot on him. There we go. Needed to wait just, like, a microsecond so I'd make sure I could get the ammo. Uh, it's not looking good behind us because that dude is dead. Hello there. Yeah, you still have the 75. Alright, well, this is not exactly great for us. Here, let's see if we can just, like, reverse our way out of this mess. No, this is not good for us. I hear, like, one over to my right, too. Alright, get that dude out. At least now he only has the 75, right? 
engine. Uh, I think it's 75 should not be able to move. So hang on, there's a dude behind us. Let's pop this dude. Use his carcass, so maybe we can get like a turnaround here. This is like the one downside to wheeled vehicles is that you just can't do like a instant turn. You have to have a little bit of space to do it in. Right, let's see if we can get around him over here. Uh, like the thing is right now, okay, shot, we're good. The thing is, is like he has a headset, right? Be a little bit harder for us to kill this dude because he would have heard us coming in for us though we should be fine all right let's do a decap i think i don't know what it is about this team like they're, they're playing extremely weird like whenever you play a game of war thunder you don't really ever expect your team to like be capturing like all three points holding all three points while their their team is like still a bunch of them are alive right just kind of weird you know what, the game's almost over. I haven't done much this game. We, we're just gonna risk it. Need some kills. This game is like, went like crazy for us in a way. This game was very weird. Definitely a heavy tank match though. If I was not a heavy man, this would have been like a bunch of kills. But it's not like I can just like funnily push these guys, right? If I try that, then I was gonna die every time. Yeah, it's probably like stuck in the buildings over here. Yeah, overall, a pretty positive game. Well, we ricocheted and it didn't pun. <laughs> but let's get on to the next one. Hopefully get a better map for the Concept 3, not a Bennett Factory. All right, so this is a Frozen Pass, but a battle match of it. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what I really want to do here. Because, like, if it was the Conquest version of this map, I would know what I'd want to do. But since it's battle, honestly, I kind of don't know what to do. Kind of, kind of funny to say that it's because like i feel like going this way would be the best option but at the same time okay so we'll have the support of the t14s over here and then we can support them by like scouting and getting ahead of them kind of like where they got germany and russia and sweden so uh, i think we should be fine but yeah that last match that we had in concept three it wasn't the best in the world it's kind of just like the most mediocre match i've played in a while but at the same time it's always nice to have good teams like if you have a team that like carries you you know that's always just like the best thing in the world to have all right let's see what is this enemy team doing here are they gonna have anybody come in this direction hopefully our team doesn't get like flanked right now that's what my job is kind of right now just making sure those guys the t14s don't get flanked by somebody coming this direction go that 152 could easily kill that t14 we saved him though we're we're, we're a teammate all right, well, it seems like our T-14s are probably gonna push right directly into their spawn. So that's always gonna be quite funny, but. All right, so this is pretty much where I'm just gonna stay the rest of this game. Let's say, why is this not destroying? Come on, destroy that. Let's push down this tree. There we go. All right, well, hopefully the enemy team never knows I'm here because this is pretty much where we need to stay at now. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say I have like one little kill again. Oh man, this is not looking good for the Concept 3 and it's not, it's not because the vehicle's bad. Nothing like that. It's just our team is doing too good. Like I'm not expecting these. Like our, our team has literally pushed them in their spawn. Like what, what am I supposed to do here? I, I'm not a vehicle that can just go push in their spawn. I'm not a T14. I do that, I die. You know, this is a really good position because, like, I was hoping I would, like, be able to attack all the guys up in there. But it seems like our team's already, like, killed them. And, yeah, they're, they're doing too good again. I don't know. I feel like we just push. Like, sometimes you just gotta accept your losses. Am I even gonna be able to get up here? Ow. Oh. What a, what a wonderful post pin effect there. Wow, so now they're gonna start pushing? Now they're gonna start pushing after our team is like pretty much surrounded them? Hello church, I am sorry I abandoned you. It, you actually seemed to actually be like a decent spot before I left. And then their team actually started pushing through our team. I hope you enjoyed the commentary because we basically did not much. Alright, so there's apparently a Sherman up there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Ricochet. Well, 
loader. Cool. Oh, he actually moved down. Why did I not notice that before I fired? Oh, there's only two of them left. Never mind. We are not holding a church. We are pressing W. We might as well. So here, can we actually climb this? Probably not, but we will try. Oh, will we actually make it? Holy, I'm not surprised we made that one. Oh, there's one on the capture point. Come on, we need more kills. But at least get a scout on him. Oh, we tracked them. This is crazy. It's not the concept. It's just our team is too good, and they're and we're playing where like it's just heavy tank meta of pressing spawns or pushing into spawns. This isn't this isn't concept three placed on this. This is heavy tank placed on these small maps, or even like mediums with like Shermans and stuff. All right, let's see. Can we go like five miles per hour like faster to get this SPA, please? We're just gonna mount goat now. I'm kind of bored. Oh, we're falling. Interesting bombs. Well, this game's basically over. We, we didn't do much again, but I don't know. I, I felt like... Our position at the church was a really good one but at the same time and they're still spawning how many spawns you got six no seven spawn jesus christ this is just becoming a very very long match oh well this is game two game two was kind of a flop as well we didn't really do much other than kind of help our team in some all right so we have the good old pac-man map Maybe we'll be able to get out into this area and do something. I kind of don't like going here. And the reason behind it is because you're stuck. And I, I do not like playing like positions in War Thunder of where you're just stuck and you can't get out of it and go to another position. If you play the like Pac-Man area, like which is this open area out in here, that, that kind of gives you that feeling. So I'm kind of actually second guessing what I want to do here. Because if I stay up towards these buildings, at least then I can have like teammate support. And then also I can go to like different areas and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's a risk versus reward thing. So like if I went out there and there's like no one on this side completely, then I would be having free reign and can go wherever I really want to. But it's always a risk. So I'm not really sure if I want to take it. Go and put some like RD right there. Maybe we'll get somebody like going towards the capture point. Okay, literally shooting over me. Fair enough. I literally not going to even like deal with you. I don't care to deal with you. You're not in my target. You literally just went the Pac-Man route the way that I was going to go. And yeah, that's not going to be cool for me. We didn't get his transmission. Oh. Probably just a little bitty Puma out there. I don't, I don't really care about a little bitty Puma. He's like literally in the middle of nowhere. Hello there. Ricochet. Come on. I need to rush that because of this dude up here. Oh yeah, there's more up here. We're just we're just gonna rush it. Oh, what's this dude doing? See, my problem is, is that there's like a dude uh, over to my right. Yeah, go up there, Sherman. Oh, we got one of them. I got a Dicker Max. Go up there, Sherman. Oh, no, Sherman. Go. Oh, you got this. You got a stabilizer. Just go. Come on. You literally got this. I, I trust in you. I literally trust in you to just go. Oh my god. What even is this? I don't even know what he's shooting at. Hang on, let's go to the other direction. You gotta do the wonderful beep beeps here. Trying to get turned around. Oh, well, that could have been worse than it was. Alright, you know what? That Sherman doesn't deserve our help. Will come. Never mind. That's an SPA too. And he smoked. No, not the Stug 3.
Hello, Stug. Give me a shot for your lower plate. Wow, the post pin. That's a bunch of it, you know? Also, if I've not mentioned it within this video, the recoil of the Concept 3 is crazy. Like, it, it kind of feels like, oh no, come on. Not the Puma. Not the Pumas. Not my terrible turret reverse speed, too. There's still one more over here. Oh. Luckily, though, I don't think you have a brain cell, so uh, we should be good. No, not an SPA. Luckily, though, he shot in his own teammate, and then I have another Panzer IV. No. Seven kills, not that bad, to be honest with you. On our first go around, I'm playing. I'm playing the Concept Three. Like I would never play a Concept Three. Like this is a this is like Sherman area. <laughs> like like you don't play a Concept Three like this. And we got a Stuka. If we can actually get him with a cannon shot, no, I'm not gonna get him. But yeah, basically playing it like the way I was just then was like how it played if I just want to jump into cast and get a wyvern. As I just try to just rush everything, get into really weird predicaments, get like two or three kills, and jump into cast planes. Not gonna lie, that's what I used the majority of this Concept 3 for. Actually playing the vehicle, it's kind of a kind of an interesting bag because you're very scared to like push into some situations just because of the tank and the armor and all that sort of stuff. Which kind of sucks for it. But we're gonna basically do exactly what we did again. Let's say like I know there's one to my left right now but I don't know where the rest of their team is at all right good they got him get that dude Our one and only side scrape will ever do in this thing. Or KV. Scout him. Uh, the woes of a wheeled vehicle. I barely can hit garbage on the map and it just like makes me stop. Alright, we're just risking it. Hopefully there's like no uh, enemies that's going to help this dude. Get his engine out so he can't like just push. Hello there. Oh, yeah, there's no ammo in the back. Uh, is it just a regular KV-1? Yeah, it is. We have our dream of 10 kills. That's all I requested within this video. Uh, ah, Almost got him. Almost did enough damage. Sadly, though, we have AP. Wait, does M3 get flanked? It did. Bro. M3. Uh, I got, I got, I'll go clean up your forgetfulness. Hello, my friend. Man, I'll give him the good old. Hang on, we got to pit maneuver him right quick. Stop. You're now mine. We're rude, aren't we? All right, well, 11 kills, not particularly bad at all. I feel like I was actually playing the Concept 3 wrong this whole video. I should have just played like I am whenever I'm trying to get into a Wyvern. <laughs> and it feels like I just do better doing it this way than I actually do trying to play this thing legitly and not die. But yeah, I mean the Concept 3 is still a really good vehicle. Like I don't I don't think anything's poor about it. The only thing that I would probably say is a little bit weak is the gun itself and it's just because of the post pen. It's AP. But you, you kind of expect that playing like British stuff at this point. So you're definitely getting used to it. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and sub to the channel. And also, I will be doing some more of these videos in the future. So make sure to leave those in the comments.